When I first became a Christian, I was excited about God and I was seeing what He was doing already in my life, forgiving me of my sins and blessing me with a professional surfing career and just all these things. But I was also still kind of one foot in the world, half of me wanting to live for God, half of me still kind of wanting to live for myself and do life my old way. I became miserable really quick because there's nothing more miserable than being half-heartedly serving God. The word wholeheartedly is in the Bible so many different times because God's calling us to be completely sold out for Him. And I was completely sold out for surfing. I mean, 100%. I'm in from age 10 all the way through. I am in 100%. Surf, 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 surf. And that's the way that God wants us to be about Him. I had been surfing professionally for a while and, and been a Christian for a few years. And I, I really sensed that God was challenging me to give up surfing competitions for a year and I didn't want to hear it and I went into this prayer chapel at my school at Point Loma Nazarene University and uh, I'll never forget I remember being in there it was Valentine's Day and I was all sad because everyone had their girlfriends and I didn't have a girlfriend and then I felt like God was saying oh by the way you need to give up surfing competitions and I'm like I know that's not you God because I haven't been winning all the competitions anyway and I feel like I've had a good attitude when I lose so I know you're not saying that and if you are saying it then I pray you'd prove it by when I walk out of this prayer chapel these two friends of mine will be standing there and it was later in the afternoon nobody was around so I was like this is perfect there's no way they're gonna be there I walk out of the prayer chapel I look to the right no one's there I look to the left those two people, those two friends were right there. So then I was thinking to myself, okay, well maybe God's asked me to give up surfing competitions. The next hour I went for a, um, a resident assistant counseling job in one of the, dorm, the um, dorms. And they said, look, we want you to be doing Bible studies and be a counselor here for us, but we're worried about your surfing competitions and the time that they will take up. And so I realized right then that was a confirmation from God. I'm giving up surf contest, surfing contests for the next year and I did and I was wholeheartedly serving God I was willing to give that up for a season and then the next year he gave it right back it came from being willing and I fought him on it but it, it came from being willing to be wholeheartedly serving him everything that we're doing is being directed by the thought of will this please God not will this please me is this better for my surfing or my sport or my you know, it can be good things, even like a spouse or a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a friend or church or a sport. And you might be doing so much to please that person or situation or whatever it is. When I think at those moments we need to ask ourselves, wait, am I more than anything wanting to please God? And that's, that's what I think is, is being fully wholeheartedly serving God.